Hey guys, I got a new microphone. Uh, hopefully I don't sound like crap anymore. I was actually planning on doing a video and then doing commentary on top of it. But that didn't work out since the Share Factory makes the audio commentary sound like crap. So I'm going to try this uh, live. So today we're doing Contra Blades. Uh, everybody's been asking about it. Uh, it keeps your helicopter from spinning. Super convenient. So I'm going to skip... Skip over the last part doing a basic helicopter. Uh, I already have that video up. You can check out if you want to. So I'm just going to start right, right at the good stuff. Right at the, right at the sweet, sweet counter rotating blades. So we're going to start with the standard rotor, uh, just like the basic helicopter. Going to make the bottom one counterclockwise. That's uh, just how I do it. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Clockwise can be on the bottom. Counterclockwise it doesn't matter. Just make sure when you put the blades on, they are the same as the rotor. So these are counterclockwise blades. You can tell by the leading edge facing to the right. We got a counterclockwise rotor. We're gonna set deploy. And then we get to the, the good stuff. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take an I-beam, I'm gonna throw it on, it's too big. To take an I beam that I that I beam was overcompensating. I'm gonna stick it up here. Now the only reason I'm doing this is for a reference point because we're gonna want this on the center. But you're gonna see why I stuck it up there first. So we're gonna use the move tool. I'm gonna move this thing over here. Move it down. All we're wanting to do, I'll put it on this side, control units in the way. All we're wanting to do is kind of see where it lands. So we're just a little bit, a little bit to the right of this line here. Go over to the place tool. If you do this right though, don't move your cursor. Flip it up. And eh, a little bit far over. That's all right. Son of a bitch. All right, so we're just gonna get a little bit to the right. And the reason I'm doing this is we're gonna move this back over to the center here. You want it as close to the middle as possible. That's it's a little bit off. I can probably go a little bit further right with it. Go ahead and move that. I don't wanna cause no problems and look stupid once I try to fly this thing for you. So let's put that up there, see what we can get. These controls, I swear to God, every time. Eh, a little bit to the left. That's all right. We'll we'll roll with that. See what happens. It shouldn't be too bad. All right. So you get the idea, though. You wanna you want this beam to be as close to the middle of the first rotor as possible because we're gonna throw a second rotor on top of it. This is going to be our clockwise motion rotor. Add some wings to that, blades rather. Switch that to clockwise. Four of those. Now what this is gonna do is, it's gonna let these two rotors start at the same time, but rotate opposite directions. If you were to take this rotor and put it directly on top of this one, when you start it, they're going to lock. It'll lock up on each other, and you won't get that counter-rotation motion that you're going for. So doing it like this kind of tricks the system into thinking that it's not connected here, because technically it's connected down here somewhere. So now we're just going to move this one down a little bit. Uh, uh, we're going to set up our blades, make sure they're set to deploy. I did the bottom one. This part here is going to be just like the other helicopters. So, I like to do clockwise first on here just to keep track of things. Authority limiter. Authority limiter. Now, I was talking to somebody that plays on PC today that was trying to do my first video. And they said they didn't have an authority limiter like this. It only went plus or minus like 25. But they had a deploy angle. So, I'd imagine if you're on PC you're going to want to do deploy angle as opposed to authority limiter over here on this side. 
but I'm on the PlayStation, so this is what I get. So we're going to make sure this control unit sets the main throttle, which it already is, because this is just the base model from earlier. I'm going to hope open track editor. So just like just like the first one, first basic helicopter, you want this to be a zero or 2.5. I don't know what it is on PC. You might be able to get away with it down here, but the main throttle for whatever reason starts at 2.5 when you uh, when you combine it with the controller. Then we're going to set this one since it's clockwise, we're going to set this minus doesn't really matter, 190, 91, dyslexic. We're going to copy that one, paste it down here, flip vertically, and then you'll get a nice uh, nice opposite motion here when this goes back and forth. Leading edge should go in the up direction. We're good to go there. I'm going to set this other controller to the main throttle. You don't, you don't have to, it just makes it a lot easier than having to come over here and manually start these once you launch your craft. So, torque limit. Torque limit. Open, we're just going to set this from 0 to 100. I set that to, I usually set this to RCS just because... I mean, for a helicopter, you're not using RCS for anything, so you might as well use it for this. And that should be it. I mean, other than, you know, I like to hide these inside. Uh, always make sure that your balance is good. So make sure that the rotors are right over the center of mass. Sometimes I like to go a little bit behind the center of mass. That'll give you a nice little uh, nose down, natural flying makes it a little easier to control these here you can shove down pretty much as far as you want oh this one's I'm gonna have to give this one a circumcision oh yep nip the tip all right we should be good to go now and here we are doesn't it look nice? All right, so you'll notice I have no SAS on. Don't need it if you do this right. Uh, so let's fire up the blades here. Nice opposite direction. Yeah, lift off. Nice and smooth. Like I said, there's no SAS on here. Uh, I mean, this thing is level as could be. I do like to use SAS most of the time just because it'll help it like auto level itself back out. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, hopefully you guys could follow along. Uh, I tend to kind of go too fast, I know that, but hey, you could leave a comment. I'll get back to you. Uh, you can get a hold of me on Reddit. Um, Reddit username's Johnny One Shot. Uh, happy to answer any question you guys got. And uh, that's about it. Make sure you check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, all that shit that other YouTubers say to do. And uh, good luck. Let me know how it goes. See ya.